Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about finding the convolution of two functions. And usually, uh, one place you see this is when you're doing differential equations, and oftentimes it's in conjunction with Laplace transforms. So we're just going to do a basic mechanical example here. We'll talk about the theory and how it ties into Laplace transforms in a different video, but here's just a very basic example. So, um, so here's the basic formula and a quick little definition, and then we'll do a quick example here. So the convolution of two piecewise functions, f and g, is given by the function f star g, and it's defined by, we say f star g of t is the integral from 0 to t of f of u multiplied by g of t minus u du. So we're going to find the convolution of two functions here. We've got f of t, which is t squared minus 2t, and g of t, which just equals t, and we're going to find the convolution. So again, a very, very basic example here. Grab an extra piece of paper. Okay, so our function, so f star g of t, we're going to integrate from 0 to t. So again, it says we just take, uh, we just replace our original function and plug in the variable u. So in that case, we're going to have u squared minus 2 times u. And then we take our function, which was originally a function of t, and everywhere we have a, a t, we replace it with t minus u. Well, g of t is just t. So, okay, well, I'm going to replace, everywhere I have a t, I'm going to replace it with t minus u. And now we're simply going to integrate that with respect to u. Okay, so again, a very basic example in this case. So let's multiply this out real fast. Okay, so we've got the function from 0 to t. If we distribute, we'll have u squared times t. So that'll be, I'm going to write that as t multiplied by u squared. We've got u squared minus u, so it'll be minus u to the third. We've got negative 2u times t, so I'm going to write that as negative 2t times u. And then negative 2u times negative u, that's going to be positive 2u squared. And again, we're integrating all of this with respect to u, so be careful about your t's and your u's. So if we integrate this, okay, with respect to u, we've got t treating that like a constant, we'll have u to the third over three, minus, okay, so we've got minus u to the third, so it'll be minus u to the fourth over four, minus two t, we'll treat that like a constant, u, we're integrating with respect to u, so we'll have u squared over two, plus two u squared, so when we integrate that, we'll have two, then u to the third over three, and again, we're integrating that with from uh, 0 to t. So again, we're replacing all of our u's with t's. So we'll have t multiplied by t raised to the third power over 3 minus t to the fourth over 4 minus 2t. Then we'll have t squared over 2 plus we'll have 2 times t to the third over 3. Notice when we substitute in the lower limit of integration, when we plug in 0 for all of the u's, we'll just end up with 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 0. So in this case, the lower limit of integration will just turn into a bunch of zeros. So we're going to have, okay, so t to the third times t, that's t to the fourth over 3, minus t to the fourth over 4, minus, let's see, we'll have 2t to the third over 2 plus 2t two to the third over 3. And I assume if you're in di differential equations, you'll be okay with the fractions. Get common denominators for the first two terms, the, first two, or the, the second two terms. And after simplifying that, I ended up with t to the fourth over 12 minus t to the third over 3. And that's all there is to convolution. And I, I say that kind of tongue-in-cheek, that's all there is to convolution, because 
The integration here can be very tricky depending on the functions that you're giving. And again, we haven't really talked about anything sort of exciting or important, and that again is how it ties into Laplace transform. So in another video, we'll talk about how this all ties together. I'm happy to do a proof over this stuff, but for now, some people wanted to see a basic just mechanical example, so um, that's, that's, that's all there is to it. Again, the integral is going to be the tricky part, and of course the conceptual part of tying it all together.